Hi, in this video I will try to explain the complex concept of friction as applied to walking. Uh, let's take a case of a, an alien uh, robot that's landed on earth, it's much taller than the trees and it's trying to walk and check out the friction fundamentals. Uh, it's certainly able to walk although it's slipping a bit. So let's see what's happening here. So as the alien is walking, the bottom of the feet of the alien, and I'm not sure if it's wearing shoes or not, is pushing back on the ground as you can see. Those are the yellow arrows and the ground uh, instantly creates a force of friction which is opposite to that yellow looking force. So the pink forces are the force of friction here. So if the alien's feet with respect to the ground, so the bottom of those feet and the top surface of the ground, those are the two surfaces which are interacting. If in between those two interacting surfaces there is no mutual slipping, we call that as a static situation. That means at that instant the feet are static with respect to the top surface of the ground. In that case the frictional force is high and the pink forces as you can see will be high and those are called static friction forces. All the arrows in this diagram refer to forces. If the feet start slipping, as you saw in the video, it's a marshy ground after all, the slipping creates kinetic friction. So as the feet starts to slip with respect to the top surface, the force of friction reduces to a value called the kinetic friction forces. So these are the two major kinds of forces uh, that we have to keep in mind while talking about friction the robot itself is moving forward. That's a different kind of motion because the ground pushes back on that robot and that's as per the Newton's third law so force is equal to the reaction so the robot is propelling forward. The friction force occurs only between the two surfaces in contact. I hope this was useful as an introduction and have a great day.